If your trust in your relationship has been broken, it's going, it can be rebuilt. You can have trust again in that relationship. I've seen it time and time and time again. You can rebuild the trust, but it's going to take time. Now, the trust wasn't broken overnight. You realize this. In any relationship, trust doesn't go away just like that. It's a lot of things that have built up over time that comes to a point to where the trust is gone. So it takes time to lose trust, and it takes time to build trust. Does that make sense? And here's the other element you need to think about. Whatever it was that originally broke the trust, if it was really, really a big, big thing that just exploded and wow, just it's over, period, it's over. Well, the bigger the problem, the longer it's going to take to build the trust. So the more serious the offense is, the more, it's going to, more time it's going to take. So that means I've got to be patient. I've got to be patient. I can't tell you how many times I've had a guy come to me, a man come to me, a husband come to me, yelling, screaming, carrying on, oh, my wife is leaving me, oh, my family hates my guts, oh, fix it, pastor, fix it, wave your magic wand, throw your pixie dust, make it happen now, please, oh, please. I can't. Nobody can. Because the trust takes time to rebuild. And you've got to do the right things along that time to rebuild the trust. So you've got to be patient with each other. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 14 says, Be patient with everyone. Circle that word, patient. Why is patience so important in building trust? Well, let me illustrate it for you so you can see why it's so important. I've got a balloon, and I've got my pump, and I'm going to blow the balloon up. And I want you to think of the balloon as your life. And I want you to think of the air inside as the pressure that you go through in your relationships. Now, all of us are going to go through this. I don't care what relationship you're in. You're going to have pressure with your kids. You know, if you're a parent, uh, if you're a kid, you know, uh, you're going to have pressure with your parents. If you're a worker, you know, you're at the job, you're going to have pressure, right? Boss comes in, hey, I need this done, this done, this done. There's pressure right there in the relationship. Husband, you know, wife, you're going to have pressure in your relationships. It doesn't, it comes from all kinds of sources. It comes from all kinds of sources. Like, you know, Deborah and I, we've been sick for the last couple of weeks, you know, haven't been ourselves. There's pressure there. You know, when you're constantly sick, there's pressure there. Do you understand that? All right. So, You've got to have a way to release the pressure. And patience is the release valve. It's what causes the pressure to dissipate in your relationship. Now, if you don't have patience in your relationship, what happens is the pressure keeps building, the pressure keeps building, the pressure keeps building, and eventually, your relationship blows up. Now, when I'm in a relationship with somebody and I don't have any patience and I just keep building up the pressure, it just keeps blowing up. Eventually, you're going to start acting just like you are right now. Because the next time I reach for a balloon, see what you're doing right now? This is exactly how you act in a relationship when there's no patience. People keep blowing up, they keep yelling at each other, they keep blowing up, they keep yelling at each other, they keep blowing up, they walk out of the house, they leave, they slam the door, they slam the window, you know, they throw down their keys, they screech out of the driveway. I'm telling you, when you don't have patience, the trust disappears. 
If I keep blowing up balloons, are you going to trust me with another balloon? No. You don't even trust me now, do you? That's what happens in relationships. The trust disappears because we no longer have any patience with each other. I can't trust you any longer. I mean, it only takes a couple of times for this to happen. You know, you keep threatening, I'm going to divorce you, I'm going to divorce you, I'm going to divorce you. The trust is gone. The trust is gone. Are you following me? This is what happens when we don't have patience. And when you have patience, you'll build that trust. But it takes time. 